With only 61 days to go before America picks its next president, Donald Trump currently leads Clinton 45% to her 43%, according to a new poll by CNN. With everything at stake, the bloodletting is getting ferocious, and it seems the pressure may be showing on Hillary as she cuts short her talk with the press when asked about Trump's lead in polls. For more on this now, let's cross to our Washington correspondent, Caleb Maupin. Caleb, it seems Clinton's not exactly a stranger to avoiding uncomfortable questions from the press, is she? Well, this is certainly not the first time that Clinton has avoided directly answering questions. Oh my gosh, this is really good. Secretary All right, Clinton, folks, any problem with you. your husband leaving? Yes, Secretary Clinton, Clinton. Here, 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 everybody try one. Secretary Clinton, how much did Lloyd Blankfein invest in your son-in-law's hedge fund? Why don't you respond? Secretary Clinton, if you get indicted, will you drop out? Oh, for goodness, that is not going to happen. I'm not even answering that question. Now, relations between the Clinton campaign and the media have never exactly been friendly. Um, she hasn't given a direct press conference in the last 275 days. Now, back in July, when the campaign was asked about this, this is how they responded. She has answered hundreds if not thousands of questions from reporters in one-on-one -on -one interviews. As you have a press conference and we want to have a press conference, there's no problem. Now, in a recent attempt to redeem herself, Clinton actually invited a few journalists onto her private plane recently. Let's take a watch. So happy. Happy Labor Day. What? Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. I know. It's exactly right. Do you have a Labor Day message? Oh, I do. You'll hear it. <laughs> Now, her aides often point out that she's recently done a few one-on-one -on -one interviews, but it seems like a big effort is being made to keep Hillary Clinton away from an open Q&A session with the media. Now, let's remember that in the past, those open Q&A sessions with the press haven't gone so well for Clinton. I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't, I have no idea. That's why we turned it over. You were in charge of it. You were the official in charge. Did you like the service? What, like with a cloth or something? Now, her spokesman now says she will have a press conference after she's elected. So that means we'll have to wait at least 60 days to directly hear from Hillary Clinton.